let's start our discussion with assignment number three in this assignment we have three sections the first section is about simple counting termination and permutation second section is about principle of inclusion and exclusion and the last section third section is about pigeonhole so let's start with the first section about counting the very first problem is how many strings of eight english letters can be formed with different uh, requirements the first requirement is it should not contain any vowel and if letters can be repeated so let's see uh, we know uh, we have 26 alphabets it, it consi these consist of consonants and vowels so vowels we know there we have five vowels a e i o u so it says we cannot use vowel so it means the remaining letters are only consonants which are 21 so the string length is uh, we have eight letters so at first position how many letters we may have so obviously our available vocabulary our available alphabet size is now 21 so we are going to use 21 21 21 21 at each place we have options of 21 letters so uh, I hope this answer should be clear. Let's go with part two. So it's also simple. So uh, now it's same, uh, it's a similar question. We don't have to use vowels, but letters cannot be repeated. In the first part, letters could be repeated. Now we cannot repeat letters. So same, we have five vowels and twenty-one consonants. So uh, how many possibilities we have? For the first option, we have. 21 letter letters per second because if we have choose one letter it cannot be repeated so for the second letter we have 20 options and and again these two cannot be repeated so combinations of all these two all possible combination with these two for the third position we have 19 possibilities and next is 18 and so on okay move to third part so uh, how many strings of eight english letters are there that start with the vowel if letters can be repeated so it start with the vowel so we have five vowels it means for the first letter we have only five options and for the rest of the letters we have uh, we can repeat uh, 26 it could be come here 26 it could be constants or vowels the second could be consonant or, or vowel so it's 26 26 and so on for the first letter only first letter we have restriction it should be vowel so in part d so again we have to start with the vowel but letters cannot be repeated now th this thing is simple now so letters cannot be repeated it means for the first letter we have its vowel so we have option of five and after that we have choices because if we have put one vowel here so it is excluded for the second letter we are left with 25 letters it could be consonant or vowel vowel can be repeated the only restriction is for the first letter it should be vowel for the rest of seven these could be vowels or these could be consonants so for the second letter we have 25 options for the third letter we have 24 options and so on so we are done with uh, part uh, question one of part one of our section one let's move to problem number two so it says how many permutations of the letters a b c d e f g contain the strings a b c and d e so now we are fixed uh, we, are, we are fixed with this restriction that we must have these strings a b c and d e these should be there so let's see so number of letters we have a b c d e f g we have seven letters if there's no restriction then obviously the permutations are seven factorial but now we have some restrictions that uh, we should have a b c in it and d e in it so uh, in a way we uh, we have made a block of letters a b c become one block and DE becomes an other block and F is a block of single letter G is a block of single letters so we have groups of letter 
so we, we have we have got four groups a b c d e f g so we can permute these blocks in different positions so obviously we need we know if there are there are four letters four group of letters or four letters so how many permutations are possible so, so uh, let's move to part b so now we have again a b c d e f g and we should it should contain strings c b a c b a itself should be there and b e d itself should be there not their permutations these strings should be there so let's see so a b c so it is rearranged to c b a and b e d so b e d so b comes at the first position and then comes e then comes d but uh, is it possible now because we have c b a and b e d b has to be in both strings and it's not a consecutive position of b uh, b and b in c b a and b e d if it is at a consecutive position like b comes at the end and b comes in the start and like this then we can make it a big string but it is not the case so c b a and b e d b appears two time but we have only one b so is it possible to make some string when we have only one b so if it is possible then how many strings are there if it is not possible then obviously uh, how many strings are there you can answer it part c so it says uh, it's just like uh, part a of the problem it should contain strings b a and g f so we have seven letters a b c d e f g a b is permuted as b a and f g is permuted as g f we have rearranged them and these become fixed strings we cannot move these strings b a should be b a and g f should be g f so again we have got five blocks b a c d e and g f so we have to move these blocks across each other at different positions different permutations so with five blocks how many permutations are possible so answer should be obvious so let's move to part d so now we have uh, those seven letters and it should contain the strings a b c and c d e it should contain a b c string and it should contain c d e string so now this is interesting a b c we know a b c we can form the string a b c and we can form the string c d e both of these should appear in our permutation so it means we can form a b c and c d e in this order so a b c and c d e should become one group it contains a b c and it contains c d e and f is just one one letter group g is one letter group so effectively we have three groups we have a group of a b c d e we have a group of f and we have group of g so we have three letters or three group of letters so how many permutations are possible with three objects so answer should be clear so we are done with problem number one so we are done with problem number two and one so problem number three it says a palindrome is a string whose reversal is identical to the string so if we uh, write the string in a backward uh, reverse order if we write the string in the reverse order so it will remain the same string for example we have these certain palindromes mom if we write down uh, in reverse order it will remain the same similarly mother or civic stats rotator if we write in forward or in reverse or order it will remain the same similarly you can see race car tear it etc so these are all palindromes now the question is uh, we have to find how many bit strings of length n could be palindrome so how about the bit strings 
In English, we have 26 possible letters, but in bit strings, our alphabet size is only two zeros and ones. So, with zeros and ones, how many bit strings are possible which are palindrome with length n? So, with bit strings, possible uh, for example, for example, some uh, palindromes are if it's only one bit, so one uh, it doesn't matter if we write in forward or backward uh, reverse order zero. So, 0 is only one letter, forward or reverse it's same, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, if you write it in forward order or in the reverse order, it will remain the same. Similarly, you can see 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 or the bit string could be quite long. For example, it is uh, this much 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 or you can write it down in a in reverse order so it will remain the same one one zero zero one zero zero one one so uh, question is uh, how many are would be there how many palindrome will be there if the length is even then we can see when we write the first string first bit in the string it will appear at the end as well when we, we write the second bit of the string, it will appear at the second last position as well. X and Y, it could be either 0 or 1. How about if the length is odd? So, first and last will be the same. Second and second last will be the same. Third and third last will be the same. And in the middle, it will be only 1. Either 1 or 0. So, for example, we have 0, 0, 0, 0. It's palindrome. Or 1 1 1 1 1 is palindrome, 0 1 1 0 is palindrome, first and last are same, second and second last are the same. Similarly, 1 0 1 0 1 is palindrome. So, if we are given a general position a, a problem, we are given n bits, how many palindromes will be there? You know, how many bit strings are there if the string length is n? The possible bit strings are 2 raised to the n. We know this fact. So, uh, when we have even length, we know the last half is duplicate of the first half in reverse order. So, effective or independent bits are, so how many lengths would be there? Obviously, half of n. And if we have all length, in that case, effective independence bits are half of it plus 1 because it's uh, odd for example if the length is 7 so 7 divided by 2 we can just floor it so it will be 3 so 3 plus 1 or 7 divided by 2 we can round up so it will be 4 because first 3 and last 3 they would be the same and uh, middle 1 will appear so if we have n by 2 effective length how many bit strings are possible with the n with 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 length n the possible bit strings are 2 raised per n if we have independent bits n by 2 so how many bit strings are there so you can uh, give the answer now okay so the last question problem 4 uh, you have to do it by your own you have to make a question in which you have to count the permutations and you have to make a question you have to propose a question in which you have to count combination and you have to give solution as well just be careful about the permutations and combinations in permutations we are careful about the order in combination we are selecting certain uh, number of objects out of total objects and we are not uh, concerned about the order it could be in any order so for example you can see if i am putting a code in on a lock or on a password so order matters but if i am making a cocktail then order doesn't matter so, uh, I hope uh, you should be able to do first part easily. Thank you very much.